Thank you, Nicole. When it comes to parenting, there's no rule book or guideline to follow. Some Colorado parents are creating their own rules when it comes to societal expectations and gender rules. Denver 7's Micah Smith goes 360 for us this morning, giving you multiple perspectives on gender neutral parenting. It's 645 on a weekday morning in Styler Elza's family. We had pancakes and now the leftovers are going to go to the chickens. Is getting ready to start their day. We are your very typical household. Since 14 year old Grayson and eight year old Ronan were born, Styler has tried to prepare her kids for the day's challenges and life's challenges, including not being considered what society deems normal. Oh, I was that parent who was adamant that I was not going to do any gender norms for my kids that I was going to really let them identify however they wanted. It's a concept called gender neutral parenting in which parents allow their kids to explore different gender roles regardless of the sex they were assigned at birth. We're taking you 360 on gender neutral parenting with a mom who supports gender neutrality. The director of Denver Health's LGBT Center of Excellence who says kids often explore different gender roles. An academic with focus on the family, a faith based organization who does not support gender neutral parenting and a counselor who says no matter how you raise your kids, it's hard. Styler and her partner Jack say they wanted to remove all societal pressure from their home while raising their kids. Everything was color neutral, everything was toy neutral. Styler identifies with elements of both genders and even though she says she never discussed that with her kids, her eight-year-old Ronan ended up feeling the same way. Ronan really um, came to me first um, and told me um, about a year and a half ago that they didn't feel like a boy, but they also didn't feel like a girl and they didn't know how they felt, but they knew that they didn't identify with either gender strongly. Ronan, who was physically born male, prefers the pronouns they and them, while Styler's daughter, Grayson, who was born a female, is just fine with she and her. But even so, Grayson's interests vary. She likes Madonna, skateboarding and baggy clothes. Oftentimes I'll choose my masculine clothes, um, like masculine t-shirts and masculine pants, just because they're way more comfortable. It is totally normal for um, a, a child who was born a boy to want to play with girl clothes, to want to play with dolls, um, to want to play with things that would be considered stereotypically girl toys. Um, and the same conversely for um, children who are born girls. Dr. Elizabeth Kavash says around age three, kids start to form their own sense of gender identity and may explore other gender roles. Certainly that can be developmentally normal for all children to explore those things. Focus on the family director of Global Family Formation Studies, Glenn Stanton, agrees with play exploration. <laughs> Now, if your eight-year-old boy, you know, wants to wear a dress, that is concerning stuff. Stanton wrote a book called Secure Daughters and Confident Sons, where he agrees with men and women doing activities outside of traditional gender roles, but does not believe it is possible to be gender neutral. And nearly everybody celebrates that kind of diversity in male and female behavior. But to really confuse the genders and to mash them together um, is, first of all, an artificial construct. I mean, in a sense, there's no real such thing as gender-free parenting. We are gendered individuals. The most important thing for a parent in any situation, whether it's gender-related or not, is being the supportive, curious, engaged parent that they're already trying to be. Licensed counselor Felix Lefebvre says gender neutral parenting often brings up the age old question. Is it nature or nurture that shapes us? I think by if by gender roles, you're kind of speaking to the way that people perform gender and express their gender. Um, then a lot of that I think is taught and you can see that by looking at the way that gender changes from culture to culture and for those who identify outside of gender norms. It can be hard in terms of the experiences that the kids might have, the experiences parents might have. There's a lot of people who are like, that's not okay. I've experienced lots of people who have like screamed at my face. Grayson and Styler worried that's exactly what Ronan will face as they get older. At the end of the day, I don't judge anyone else for how they parent. As long as we're 
raising our children to be loving and respectful, kind people who contribute to this community um, and who contribute to the world. I think that um, how we go about doing that and in what manner we do it is our business. In Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7. And you can share your view on gender neutral parenting by emailing us at 360 at the Denver or commenting on our Facebook or Twitter pages.